Welcome back, I'm Daily Fix, and we continue with our Stellaris guide or tutorial, whatever it is that you fancy. Now, in the previous episode, we had our start. I had a lot of things to talk about. Uh, we had a tiny bit of go on the uh, upper border as well as to the left one. We're almost there. We're running two uh, science ships at the moment, and that is going to remain until we at least hit a tiny bit more. But before this happens, we will get another population and that means that we have something to do with our planet now there was a situation log getting up here um just at the end of the video the abandoned gateway now the, the gateways there's, there's nothing you can do with it right now but the gateways are part of a network and it's a network over your entire territory or actually not yet our territory but our entire galaxy and you want to defend those you want to have those and i believe it's um where would it be that's in it's intrigued it's over here it's quite nice having a station here and a gateway yeah interesting that's really cool but with all of that done uh let's uh let's start now uh, i didn't find a planet over here i didn't find one over here so there's probably going to be one or two over here and there's probably one over here but we'll get to those later now we were talking about uh, factions because I'll, I'll go with the easier one and then I'll go with the policies edits traditions uh, ship design you will we'll see so many times it's going to be insane so we did talk about technology there's always going to be a minimal free selections unless you had it like the end end game when you are at, at, at the top you have to research everyone you you you'll sometimes see like one or two perhaps now Factions. Factions is going to be, at some point, your people on your planet are drawn to a certain ideological way. And with that way, there are certain things that they want you to do. Uh, in order to attain those, of, uh, once you are obtaining those, you will get influence in return. So they are very useful. As um, for claims, that is when we have en enemies. Enemies are going to be amazing. They're going to be great. We're going to do uh, this a lot. We are going to say this territory that belongs to you actually is ours. And as soon as we are warring and we'll claim that and we'll have conquered it and we have won the war, we will get this part of your territory. It is ours. It is our birthright. And there's a planet in here. Continental, 15. So this is actually one that we can use. That brings us to the following. Um, you might not do this, but I will. Uh, when you go to shipyard, you can actually construct your colony ship yourself. Now, you don't have to do that. Once you are having this planet and you've looked at it, I can't look at it right now, but we'll have to uh, wait until it is surveyed a tiny bit more. Uh, you can actually click a button and it says colonize. And then it will start building the construction or the colony ship. I usually just go with it and just um, build it myself until we have more planets. Then I'll, uh, I don't worry about it. But early on, I want as much population speed as uh, possible. That also means that we're going to be um, we're going to be moving to the second system, and we are going to be claiming this one. It will take us a while because we have um, some alloys. But we remember trade, right? So let us sell 500. And we can buy a few alloys over here. We have 120. That's more than enough to uh, get a, uh, a star base going. We need 100. And we only need 60. I believe it used to be... Was it 70 or 90? One of the two. I can't really remember right now. Well, let's make this star base. Um, that also means that we need to be focusing on our alloys a tiny bit more because we need another hundred to get this system and we do want that because it's important. Now you can say what is this situation log? Well this is an anomaly and that will go into F2 under uh, uh, the log I'll show you in a minute. It is hard and there are more difficulties. The more levels your scientists will have the easier it will get, the research time will go lower um, you can do this right now. There is not really too much risk. Yes, in some your scientists could die. Um, but I'm going to decide to leave it for now. I need to get to certain parts of my 
well, terrain in my territory because we want to get all the way up to here and there. And the rest in between is going to be ours. They just don't know it yet. But we're going to be claiming that. Uh, so let's clip this away. If you press F2, your situation lock. Yeah, we're not alone. Who cares? Um, this is the hunt that we had like early on. Let me close this one for a second. And this is the anomalies. So whatever it is that you found in a um, in a sector, in a uh, in a system, you can uh, you can find over here, and you can assign. You can actually assign uh, a a a scientist to it. You can also change the scientist who is going there. But we'll uh, we'll look into that. Um, we have simple life forms, and we don't care about that. So, by clicking the planets, yes, by just clicking the planets, leave that for now, you could click the colonize tab, and you will be able to buy you uh, a colony ship. And it will be built. The construction ship is almost done. We're going to beeline to it if we are near to a hundred. If not, we're going to be getting the four minerals. Uh, I definitely want to have this one. There's three energy and six minerals, which is great. Traditions. We, uh, we're going to talk about that as well. So, traditions will help you in numerous ways. There are a lot of it. Um, expansion, domination, prosperity, harmony, supremacy, diplomacy, and discovery. Now, depending on your empire, some of these names will change. Overall, the working is the same. What you want to be doing is, at the start, you're going to be reading what it is that you uh, desire. So, the, when people say, always oh, go to discovery, I usually, well, might change that, uh, but let's go. A dis um, expansion. So, expanding in the speed. Colony development speed is increased by 25%. Also, once this is finished, all of your... Um, Let's see, uh, adopting an expansion tradition will allow all of your plans to build one additional district. That is quite nice. There are several things in here. Starbase influence cost is reduced. Uh, great early on if you want to expand because uh, the influence is very expensive. And this will reduce it yet again by 10%. The colonies will start with an additional population. Damn, that is nice. Usually, it will take about 8 months to a year to get another pop, and you will get one for free right now. Population growth speed. Hey, that's nice. Uh, administrative cap. Wait, what is that? Well, that is uh, how many territories and districts, remember? And you will be adding um, another 20 to the level. Starbase upkeep. Hey, also, that will help me with my economics. Quite a nice one. I usually would... Well, it's either going to be discovery or expansion early on. Domination is um, when uh, we want to reduce our tar blockers as well as increasing our monthly uh, influence by finishing this one. Government leader cap plus two. We have the capital buildings and housing buildings will provide an additional housing, which is really nice though. Uh, enforcers will reduce crime an additional 20%. Um, once your planets get larger all population will generate crime and you will probably end up spending in a force building on all of your planets and this one will just make sure that you will have less crime of that we have the um the resources output from our workers and slaves are increased by five percent which is quite nice you will have a lot of workers they the workers are your the lowest tier on your planets and we'll get to that once we've clicked this. We haven't clicked this. It will happen. Just give it time. And you will have the most of that. You have workers. Which uh, generate energy, minerals, food. And sometimes even unity. I can't remember if that is correct. Then you have your specialist. Who generate um, consumer goods at the cost of minerals. Or alloys at the cost of minerals. Um, research. I think it's at the cost of minerals at this species, I don't know. And um, then you'll have your leaders, um, which um, will make sure that you're dead. That, There's so many pluses to that. I'll just show you the building. It's easier. Um, we have the private, the, the, the privy, the privy council ruler level cap increased by two. So out of this, uh, this trade, there's just, just, actually, there's just three 
that I find interesting. The prosperity is the output for your stations increased by 10 and as once this is finished your merchant jobs um, will increase by 1 per 50 population. Now if you'll get to uh, 100, to, yeah, 100 population on the plant you'll get 2 merchant jobs. Um, not quite sure if this is a empire population thing or a planet population thing. We'll figure this one out. Administrative operations. Building upkeep and district upkeep reduced by 10%. So it costs you less to upkeep uh, those two. And I believe that is a money thing, a energy thing. There you go. At the bottom there, you'll see ships, star bases, star of stations, star bases, buildings, and districts is six. Uh, meaning we'll probably have like six districts and they'll cost you one. And this will add, well, this will decrease them by 10%. You will have the um, building and districts, their building cost reduced by 10%, building speed increased. So, another 10% is decreased from your districts, but it also is 25% faster to build. Um, housing districts, so your city districts will provide you with a additional housing. City districts will add you a cleric job, will generate um, energy. Cleric jobs will provide you with energy. Specialist output is uh, is this, so and research. So we'll get a bit more of that. Harmony, um, population consume less food by ten percent, but also once this is finished, a stability plus five. So um, the higher the stability, the happier your population. The happier the population, the better the output. Uh, leader lifespan by twenty years. So uh, yeah, you'll get older, and the population. Um, once you demote a people, yes, and it will happen once the uh, you, you don't have a job for a specialist, it will take him time to get to a worker class. And he will be pissed off for 5 years or something like that, and this will decrease that by 50%, which is really nice because it's so annoying. We have the, um, the ship building speed is increased by 33%, and the ship firing rate is increased by 50% within your borders. Don't think this will go for you if you're warring inside enemy territory. But defensive wise, this is quite nice. 15% in your borders. Uh, the greater good, government ethic attraction. Once you are getting larger, once you're claiming other species, once you uh, over time your species will get different ethic attractions. This will just make sure that your ethic attraction is uh, more in favor by 25%. Population amenities is uh, reduced by 10%. Amenities is uh, it's just something to make your people happy. It's just, um, say, your pop culture and your cafe, all of that stuff. They will generate amenities. You will love those. Eventually, you will run out and you'll say, Man, this, this cafe is overcrowded. I don't like it here. And you'll get pissed off and return home. And this will just make sure there's an additional room in that cafe for you. And you will uh, have to spend less of your building slots to generate amenities. Supremacy, yes. Starbase capacity plus two. Army damage is increased by twenty by twenty percent. So basically, the armies that you land land on planets, but also I believe your defensive armies. So the armies on your planets are just twenty percent stronger. And once you finish this, you will get a. Um, a war doctrine policy, so you'll bro it's it's going to be easier to uh, war more. You have the building cost of the ship building cost reduced by ten percent, and the ship building speed is increased. Cost less, build faster. Quite nice. You have the ship upkeep and the naval capacity, so your ships will cost less in upkeep. That's always an alloy thing. You can see that over there. Ships zero point four seven. That is the upkeep for the free ships that you have over here. And your naval cap is increased by 20%. That's really nice. Um, you have the fleet command limit plus 20%. So like our admiral who can have 30 in here, this is this number. It will add um, 20 to it, so it will be 50. Would be really nice. Admiral level cap by 2 instead of 5, it will be 7. Okay. You will have the ship firing rate is increased by 10%. And this is not inside of your borders. Um, this is inside and outside. So your ships will fire 10%. Now we already have 30% due to our species. 
and this will add another 10%, so we'll have 40%. We are shooting 40 times faster, 40% faster than our enemies, who might not have this one. Orbital bombardment damage is increased, so the damage to the planet, but also to its armies, is increased by 20%, taking it less time to destroy enemy defensive armies. Uh, you have uh, the star base damage is increased by 20% and the star base upgrading cost is reduced by 33%. So your station here has a number 552 and this will be increased then by 20% so more damage. But in order to increase the number of your station actually if you go to star base you can say star hold it will cost you... Um, we're lacking 412 so basically it will cost us 500 to upgrade now this will make it 33 percent less expensive this number will go down by 33 percent so actually not too bad diplomacy uh, i usually pick this one last yeah because i don't usually i'm not too diplomatic but if you uh, do this then uh, your diplomatic influence cost is reduced by 50 percent Population growth speed from immigration is increased by 10%. Maybe it isn't too bad. Uh, our trust cap. Now trust cap is important because you'll, 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 you'll meet other empires and your trust cap will change that. If we have a plus 50, then instead of having it as zero, we might even start off by species that like us. And our trust growth... Actually, that's not completely true, but I can't show you at the moment because we haven't met anyone else. This, so this trust cap will show you as soon as we uh, we get that. Um, you'll have you have two numbers. So remember, trust cap fifty and trust growth thirty three. Because I'll have to get back to that once this is uh, finished. Um, we can form a federation. Yes, it is a federation, and our federal uh, federation naval cap will count as twice as much. So in that federation we can add a ships to a fleet. And this will make sure that we can add more. Open market. So our trade value. Trade value by holding alt. You can see that there is trade value in here. And it's 11. And it will generate for us at the moment 11 energy. Um, let me get back to this. Is added plus 10%. So this will add another one. So to say. To that system. Um, market fee, once you buy or place things, you'll add a, um, it will add a fee, and that is reduced by 10%. And we have the base trade protection of the trade routes. Uh, trade routes you can just find over here. And uh, we don't have them because we just, just have this one system. In here, once you have a star base, there is a trade route. And this trade route will be attacked by pirates, and it will, um, over time, just... Reduce the income and you can send the fleet to uh, neglect that or just uh, get rid of it But um, yeah, th this will just make sure that it is uh, The protection is increased so pirate spawns are less likely Discovery and normally discover uh, research speed is increased by 20% Which is really nice because some of them will take long like the one that we discovered there was 720 days the research speed is going to be increased by 20%, so actually the number 720 is going to be 20% less. Once this is done, your research speed is increased by 10%, and that is so strong. That's why most people get this one, because the research speed is insanely good. Research speed is important, because early on, you will most likely not just go overboard with research stations. So, making these two quite heavy, start one colony-wise, other one research speed. Surveying speed is increased by 35%, so it will take them 35% uh, less time to survey system. And disengagement chance is increased, so if you get into a system that has hostile life, you could lose your ship, but this will make sure that your ship has a 50% increased chance of jumping out. It will get this question mark and it will end up with your main station. And um, then you can use it again. The research station output is increased by 10%. So this is basically your plus 2, your plus 3, and this is added up here. Um, but then they will just do... Um, 
0. Point, how much was it? 0.1 or 0.2 in this case, 0.3 with this one, uh, more. Also very nice. Uh, we got the research alternatives. Now you already saw that we had three options in our research. Uh, right over here, if we would click this one, there's three options. Then you will get a fourth one. And we also have the leader cap increased by two. So instead of five, seven. And there's more um, technologies that will increase that even more. And there is also Ascension perk that will increase. I believe the, the maximum amount is going to be 10. A leader experience gain. So it will get everything they do. They will generate leader experience. A leader experience will go into levels. And levels will go into added bonuses. Plus 25%. Leader level cap plus one. And population working on research. And we'll have the uh, the upkeep reduced by 20%. All of this quite nice. But what are we going to be selecting? I'm going to piss off half of you by um, going for expansion first. I want to have expansion. Um, I don't care for this one. But I want to have uh, influence cost reduced. Because we don't have too much influence. I want to have a new colony pop. And the population growth speed. This I'll get later and then we'll start on the discovery trade. So we're going to be starting with expansion. There we go. This also made that I yapped throughout my episode for 20 minutes about, uh, with, uh, about traditions. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Hopefully you don't mind. Hope you're going to be enjoying the next one who's going to be tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to be on pausing. We're going to make sure we'll get this system and we start colonizing with a ship that's almost done. Yes. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.